Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today we will talk about fracture mimics. We have to know that there are many normal features which can mimic fractures, but true fractures are often accompanied by soft tissue swelling. So correlation with clinical findings is essential. Some fracture mimics have characteristic features. Here are some examples. Accessory ossicle. Multiple ossification centers are common in epiphysis and are smooth and well corticated. We have to know that accessory ossicles are small bones considered normal but are not present in all individuals. They shouldn't be mistaken for fractures. Here is a second example of accessory ossicle which is os trigonum. It is posterior to the talus, normally found in 5 to 15 of people. Here a third example of accessory ossicle, which is os acetabuli marginalis superior. It is a normal variant and may be bilateral. Here is a second example of fracture mimics, which is apophysis. Here is the apophysis of the fifth metatarsal bone, runs in a longitudinal direction. But in the second picture, fractures are usually transverse. To the initiated eye, the gross plate in a young patient with an unfused skeleton can mimic a fracture. Here is a normal apophysis of tibial tuberosity, which fuses at the age between 14 and 18 years. Here is another example of apophysis, the greater and the lesser trochanters are apophysis which fuses between 15 and 20 years old. Here is another example of fracture mimics which is a normal gross plate which is unfused epiphyseal plate of the humerus. Here is another example bipartite patella. It is a congenital condition present at birth that occurs when the patella is made of two bones instead of a single bone. Normally, two bones would fuse together as a child grows, but in partite patella, they remain as two separate bones. About 1% of the population has this condition. In partite patella, it is almost always affects the upper outer ball of the patella, and 57% are bilateral. Here is another example which is nutrient channel or canals which runs diagonally only in the cortices of certain bones. Normal excrescence. Radial spur is normal variant occurring on the lateral aspect of the radius at the site of the physis. Here is another example. This is a normal bony excrescence from the scaphoid that can be mistaken for a fracture. Limbus vertebra. Most commonly affect the anterior superior border of single vertebra in lumbar spine. Sesamoids. Sesamoids are ossicles embedded in a tendon that aid in movement. They are common in the feet and the hands. Another example. They are almost always sesamoids of the thumb. They are well corticated and smooth edged unlike fractures. Skin laceration. Air beneath lacerations may superimpose on the bone, simulating fractures. So, we have to look at multiple projections. Leak of fusion. Hyoid bone fused later in life, usually by age 40. It is therefore common to see and unfused hyoid. Mesh line. Mesh lines are optical illusions which produce a black line where none exists. They are common at the base of the dense. Accessory epiphysis. In a child, when in doubt, think of obtaining the opposite side for comparison. Mouse over. Synchondrosis. Three main temporary joints in pelvis. Iliopubic, iscubic, and ilioscal. Bilateral and usually symmetric. Costovertebral junction. Every rib attaches to the spine at the costovertebral junction. 
not to be confused with a fracture. Multiple ossification centers. The calcaneal apophysis frequently has multiple centers of ossifications and appear denser than the rest of calcaneus.